Okay, did need, to, did need to change the party around just a little bit. If I could speak properly, that would probably help. I gave Krill Earth instead of Summon so that, you know, all the MP that she is using can be used for uh, healing. Instead of trying to deal damage, Earth will, will be more than enough to take care of anything that we got, hopefully. Alright, so let's get out of here. Maybe not. Instead, we get run into by a guard. Hooray. My apologies, I'm hurrying to tell everyone the bridge over West River is finished. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. What is he talking about? Boko might still be in that cave to the west. What's a Boko? Why isn't your name capitalized? Yeah, what is a Boko? My prize chocobo, of course. Oh. You had a chocobo? Since when did you have a chocobo? What, you don't believe me? But you can't even ride a dragon, much less. Why, you little... And then... Chunk krill, and then her tongue comes. That's a different thing. Gotcha! Oh, damn, she kicked the shit out of me. Kids, who needs them? And now we are free to leave. And now it is time to rescue our good buddy that totally nobody ever forgot about. It's time to get Boko! We left them in the cave. Do you remember how to get to the cave? Do you remember that there was a cave? Do you, does any of this ring a bell to anybody? I know it has been quite some time since we have seen Boko, but still, he's waiting here for us. He has since the beginning of the game when we met Ferris in like part four, something like that. Let's head over to the cave. Boko, I'm coming, Boko! <gasps> uh, how do you do, I'm Krill. What? You can talk to Chocobos too? Only a little. I think he wants to introduce us to someone. What? Oh my god, he found another Chocobo. Oh! This is his wife, Coco! Boko, you old snake. How the hell did he find himself a wife? I haven't found a single other Chocobo. Listen, Boko, I've got a favor to ask of you. He says he already knows. What? You're leaving on another journey, right? Are you okay with that? that? What's he saying now? That he loves her. Oh boy. And for her to look after their child while he's gone. Child? Coco has a child on the way. She says she'll be waiting here for him. So you left your nest? What kind of chocobo mother are you? Thanks, Coco. Wow, she seems so happy. How do you tell the males from those females? <laughs> they have the same sprite! I mean, Boko looks totally different. I would recognize him anywhere. <laughs> He's the yellow one. And now we are on our trusty Chocobo! We have not seen our Chocobo or been able to use him really up to this point. So you guys don't even know what he can do. He can go through streams and rivers and all that kind of stuff. This isn't the one that we want to go through though. We want to head to the other side of K Tycoon Castle. And now we can head northwest and cross this river. Very nice. And we can head back to where Tool Village is which is quite a ways away. Luckily, we won't be getting into any fights along the way. There's our airship! <laughs> Did you remember we had an airship? No, it's all been taken away from us. <laughs> Here's Tool Village. We don't need to do anything there. But when we make it here, we get into a... Well, we have to go through this little piece of scenery and we collapse and fall into something. Ouch! You were riding too fast. Bullshit. You were too damn heavy. Boko, this is all your fault. Are we going to choke his neck too? Don't take it out on him. Uh-oh. There's something here. Bart, what's that? Surely it's nothing, nothing good. Uh-oh. And it's boss time. We're up against an Anto Lion. Once again, we've got Ant Lions in uh, Japanese RPGs. Uh, as I went over in a little bit in Secret of Mana after I just flat out asked the question. Ant Lions are real. They're actual bugs that literally dig 
holes in the ground in order to lure their prey in. Didn't know that. Apparently they're in uh, southern, southern America and in China. So I guess that's where the idea for these guys came from. They look nothing like that. Uh, they're very, very small. You know, they're bugs. Uh, but still, that's kind of cool. Uh, basically, I'm going to alternate between um, healing... Ooh, Will-O-The-Wisp. That didn't do much, though. Discord! Half the level. That's not going to do that much because he didn't do it on my physical attacker. I'm going to alternate between um, doing Earth and healing. Heartburn! That didn't do... Oh, shit. That does do a lot. Damn it, Krill has acid reflux now. So now, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to heal more often than I would like. Uh, but we can still do quite a bit of damage uh, just aiming at him. He does have quite a bit of uh, MP. Will-O-The-Wisp is not doing much unless I burn him, and that doesn't seem to be burning him at all. Uh, I'm going to need to heal after this. Looks like Krill has stopped uh, being damaged, though. That's always nice. And overall, this guy shouldn't be that difficult. If he was, if I had my full party, he'd probably just be a really half level again. He'd probably just be a normal enemy and not a boss. But since there's just the two of us, he is a boss. And a lion. This shot will definitely help me out in finishing this guy, this guy off pretty damn quickly, along with something good here. Not Will O Wisp. Damn it, Krill. Oh. He did that on somebody that is actually useful on. Damn you. That's gonna... That's gonna eat out away at my damage over time. Heartburn, how dare you. I need to heal him a bit here. Damn it, he is my main damage dealer. Probably could have waited one turn before I did that. Half his level... I'm not sure if that stacks. I don't think it does. The half level. Looks like it did. That is no no good. Will the wisp? Come on, do something else, Krill. Uh, like I had said before, the uh, the Earth, the Geomancer ability, is largely dependent on where you are, what dungeon you're in, as to what ability you're going to be using. It probably would have been better if I just stuck with a summoner, to be honest with you. But I want to save the MP just in case. And now we are doing. Not that much damage, and that's really gonna lengthen this battle, unfortunately. This is not a hard battle, and that really, that did affect the healing, it looks like. That sucks. This isn't that hard of a battle, it just takes a long time because he keeps on using these stupid ass abilities. Damn you. Stop it. It's not nice, Entelion. I just wanna kill you. Is that asking too damn much? Kill the Entelion. Yeah, of course I've missed again. You've already, like, ordered our level, it feels like. Fuck it, Earth. Damn it, whoa, this begin. That's not gonna do it. And then he runs away? He can run away? I thought we had to kill him! Yes, you get five ability points for him running away. I swore you had to kill him. We weren't even close to finishing him off, though. The hell was that? Monster's Nest. Great. Just what we needed. Oh, no! Can I get out of the treble bell? No, of course not. So, let's head down out of here. You're not going to let me out that way? Is this going to be another thing where I have to wait? That's not cool. It is another thing where I have to wait. The hell is that? Are you coming with me? There's a rope here. Give me the rope! Give me, give, give me! I want out! Give me... I got a chocobo jumping platform now. Damn you! <laughs> Why didn't that work? <laughs> Haven't you ever wanted to do this? Admit it. Hurry and climb up. And now they grab... How the hell did that work? I don't understand. So let's just grab onto the rope again, and holy crap, Bart is quite the climber. Hey, it's Ferris! 
Which one you decided to maroon me back there? It it was no, it was Boko. No, this is definitely Boko. Try it again, and you'll swing from a yard arm. What the hell's a yard arm? That's probably a part of a boat. <laughs> I'm not familiar with boats. But why'd you leave? Being a princess just it just don't suit me. I'm a feared. My pirate accent absolutely sucks. And this is Ferris's theme now that I think about it. I always assumed this was Boko's theme. But no, this is Ferris's theme. We just don't hear it very often. And everybody on to the Boko. Ow! Would you stub your toe? What is it? Nothing. I just got pricked by a thorn. That's all. Does does that does that mean what I think it means? No, I'm sure it's nothing. Ferris has joined our party yet again. Hooray! Now I believe we have a little bit more to explore around here. The way is down here. I think this is as far as we can go. Yeah, it's pretty much cut off after this. So let's head into here. Wait here, Boko, it's dangerous ahead. So let's just head into the cave here. And it doesn't look too dangerous. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Oh, don't tell me there's another turtle. Oh my god, it's another turtle. Gil! How the hell did you get here, Gil? Over you go. And we flip the turtle. My favorite game. Thank you. The shock of two worlds melding together must have rolled me over. I can't do a thing when that happens. <laughs> two worlds melding? Yes, it seems the legend was true after all, though I still can't quite believe it. Legend has it a thousand years ago, Bart's world and Krill's world were one. Just one? Quite correct. But how did they split? To seal the force of the void. The void? Right again! How can he be right? He's just repeating with the last couple words that you say. A thousand years ago, the evil presence Enuo held the power of the void. A long battle ensued, and finally the people defeated Enuo with the twelve legendary weapons. But the void could not be destroyed. As a last resort, they split the crystals, which in turn split the two worlds. They then sealed the void in the end zone between the two worlds. So, X-Death wasn't lying. He really was trying to restore the world to its original state. But the crystals are broken. The wind's power will never return, and neither will that of the earth, water, or fire. Yeah, that last comma, though. Ow, the thorns! That is one hell of a thorn! Oh my god, he's back! I changed myself into a thorn, waiting for my chance! Seriously, game? I thought we were done with this shit! Seriously, he turned himself into a thorn?! fucking tree, man. My real goal is to obtain the power of the void for myself. What? Why do you think I melded the worlds together? <laughs> Seriously, game. It's the return of the tree. Holy crap, mode 7. Is that the void? Right over Tycoon Castle. The end zone is trying to appear in this world! Releasing the power of the void! Precisely what I've been waiting for. Now, the matchless power of the void will be mine! Not a chance, X-Death! I don't think we can do it with just the three of us. Actually, it wasn't... No, I could do it! Yeah, let's do it! Yeah. Reyna was just a thief, I'll be fine. Tycoon Castle! Reyna! 
No, she was the Lancer, actually, in that battle. No, I need her! <laughs> she was doing quite a bit of damage! Well, that doesn't look good. Splendid! Look! Look upon the power of the Void! It engulfs everything. It's all powerful. And now, it will be mine. Reyna! Yet. We never learn, apparently. Somebody needs to break the game like Gallop did last time. <laughs> Foolish ones. Now die. Damn. Go turtle. A, a, a turtle? Oh, snap. It's the battle of the century! Not bad for a reptile. I didn't live 700 years for nothing. Haha. <laughs> well, enjoy it while you can. And off we go! Foolish ones. It's hard to say exactly if we did good here. If we've accomplished anything. Ouch. Gil, you okay? We must stop X-Death before he gains full control over the power of the Void. Oomph. It's kind of weird how they capitalize the in the Void. What is that building? The Library of Ancients. The fabled Library of Ancients? So it was in this world all the time. Come with me, I know of a book that can tell us how to defeat X-Death. And so we're off to the Library of the Ancients, which we kind of warped to. But that's okay. Sage Gill, scholars from Sir Gate Castle. We have the two halves of the sealed book. I uh, see. So, Gil can transport between worlds? Is that what you're telling me? Holy crap, everybody's confused by what just happened. No, I never knew that switch was there. Let us plan our strategy. Okay. Now that the two worlds have melded together, the Void is trying to return here from the end zone. Let's hurry to the end zone! Wait! Countless monsters were sealed there, there a thousand years ago. They are far too powerful for you to stand against. Then what should we do? Obtain the twelve fabled weapons that beat Enuo a thousand years ago. The twelve weapons? Yes, but to find them, you'll need the sealed book. It will show you the way, providing the ancient legends were and we put the sealed book back together. The book! When the power of nothing again shall peak, to the warriors of light this book will speak. And the book said, We sealed the weapons we fought anyone with in Kuza Castle. The key to the seals are four hidden lithographs. With the spirit of the past, one is protected by the earth. In an island temple, one is protected by the wind. In a place deeper than the ocean floor, one is protected by flame. Behind the place where the water falls, one is protected by the water. We have also sealed up our servants. Once the lithographs are moved, our servants will revive. Black and white, powerful magic. Time Magic, Medio, Leviathan, and the Bahamut. Throw this book into the gate, and the way to the seal will be shown to you. Received the sealed book. Very, very nice.
Break the seals to the twelve weapons before X-Death gains control of the void. We're all counting on you. Let's see. The first lithograph. When the spirit of the past, one is protected by the earth. The pyramids in the desert. Bart. Ferris. Krylo. The fate of the world rests with you. Of course it does. I'm the hero. And now that we are back in control of Bart after quite a few cutscenes and everything has changed, that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I've been Bowler Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by my world merging squad of Bart, Krill, and Ferris. Reyna is still back at the castle. We're going to have to find a way to get her. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.